one of the things I love about uh, politicians is see when the mask slips. I love it. I love, I love getting an actual true glimpse of who we know they are. <laughs> I love it. I, I do enjoy it. Uh, Pro LGBTQ mayor says freedom of speech doesn't apply to a man arrested after trying to quote the Bible at the Pride rally. Why your human rights don't apply? Why? Why? Let's find it. Let's see if he actually. I've got a feeling right. There's one of two things that's going to happen here. Either he's not going to explain at all. He's just going to say your your human rights don't apply. I mean, pff, the UN would like a word with you. <laughs> say the UN, they, they, you know, I say oh, the UN human rights, I mean, we're the same people that have Saudi Arabia and Iran on the human right, on the Women's Rights Council, they're, they're not an organisation to be taken seriously, uh, but I've got a feeling he's not going to explain why, it's just going to be, your human rights don't apply, why not, because I don't like them, <laughs> that's, that's probably going to be the best we'll get, but let's have a look and see see what bullshit excuse we get given. Uh, the mayor of Reading, Pennsylvania, says freedom of speech doesn't apply in the case of a man who was arrested in the city earlier this month after trying to quote, to quote the Bible to Pride rally attendees. Mayor Eddie Moran last Thursday issued the following statement to WFMZ-TV. First and foremost, I consider myself lucky to have been able to participate in the Reading Pride march and rally. It truly was a wonderful event and I look forward to continuing to celebrate the LGBT blah blah community throughout the month of June. With regard to the incident, the city respects the First Amendment rights of all the individuals here. However, <laughs> there it is, freedom of speech does not include the right to disrupt an organised event and interfere with the rights of others. Fantastic. What rights of theirs were being interfered with? That's a question. Is that guy on Twitter spamming with that question? What rights of others were being interfered with? The right to not have Bible quotes said to them, right? The point of Pride, I thought it was a discussion. I thought that was a whole, oh, we're here, we're queer, or get used to it. No, now it's we're here, we're queer, now bend the fucking knee. But, eh, uh, or bend over. Uh, <laughs> hey, 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 children. Uh, <clears throat> that was a joke. But I would like to know, uh, disrupt an organised event. I mean, it's a case of, uh, for a protest, there is a counter protest. You're not allowed to include the right to disrupt an organised event. Fantastic. So whenever there are any right-wing events being held in uh, your town, uh, you'll arrest all of Antifa for trying to disrupt them then, won't you? I bet you haven't. I bet you haven't. I bet you've even went on Twitter and supported what they were doing. I bet. I mean, I haven't checked, but I don't think I need to. You know, Saruman meme. Uh, <laughs> um, however, freedom of speech does not include the right to disrupt an organised event. Disrupt in what way? By saying things to people at the event. What was being disrupted? Did they go, ah? Oh, Oh, someone said, oh, someone quoted Leviticus. Right, shut it down, shut it down. Everybody go home, the event's over. This man said a verse. And so and so he said unto the, ah, oh, right, okay. I realise we've dumped, we've dumped six figures into planning this event, but some motherfucker just had to say a couple words from Leviticus and that's it, the whole event shut down, everyone go home. That's it, our rights have been violated. Like, bullshit, it's a nonsense reason. Uh, you just didn't like what you had to say. Just at least be honest about it. Is that it? Is that the end of the article? I've just got a gammy knee. There you are. That's the end of the article. Okay, hey-ho. Uh, well, anyway, if this guy's been arrested, uh, his First Amendment rights are, in fact, being violated. He is, in fact, having his human rights violated. Uh, I find myself defending Christians a hell of a lot. That's something that I'm having to do an awful lot lately. Because uh, they want to stand in the street and quote the Bible, which, I mean, you know, their taxes pay for those streets. They're quite right to do that. It's perfectly within the right to do that. Uh, however, a lot of them are getting arrested. Especially that your, your human rights don't apply, citizen. Because you said things that that upset this protected, privileged group. Right? You're a second-class citizen now. Your rights don't matter as much as the rights of the privileged. So you're just going to need to shut the fuck up. But it's alright, you'll get a Bible in prison. Uh, this is... That, that's not going to go well. The man should obviously immediately be released without charge, and I think he should be fucking compensated for having his human rights violated.